this year seems to be um, even bigger and more energetic uh, than last year. Uh, what I'm hoping is that this is a really a, a reflection uh, of the fact that the fintech industry is booming. Uh, more and more players are recognizing uh, the importance and the value that the fintech uh, industry brings. So yeah, I think uh, it bodes well for Singapore, but also globally. Hi, my name is Yvonne Ng. I'm the Regional Director for Asia Pacific at Elliptic. We are a blockchain analytics company and we specialize in helping businesses to defend against crypto financial crime. Uh, we are currently seeing quite a lot of uh, tension and friction between the TradFi banks as well as the crypto native players. So if I could just, uh, with a snap of fingers, solve the problem, I would like these two segments of the uh, financial ecosystem uh, to work more closely together because I think when that can happen, we are really going to see a um, thriving ecosystem uh, where both traditional assets and digital assets can coexist and this will benefit both institutional as well as uh, retail customers. What is going to continue to develop is we are now seeing um, the institutional players really coming in a lot stronger into the digital asset space. So I hope that 2024 will be a watershed year uh, where we are going to see a lot of these traditional banks really adopting digital asset, overcoming their fears of the risk, kind of typically associated with uh, you know, management of uh, uh, digital asset. And of course, I hope that more of them will also start to introduce crypto into their offerings and then work alongside with Elliptic, where we will then help them to mitigate those um, financial risks.